Hey guys, so this video is going to be a July favorites and yeah, I know I'm filming filming this kind of late. It's like August 11th or something, but oh well, I'm going to do it anyways. But yeah, if you guys want to see what, what my July favorites are, then keep watching this video. Bye guys. So the first thing I'm going to go into for my July favorites, I'm going to hopefully try to keep it in this order for all of my favorite videos, just so you know what kind of order they're always going to be. And it may just like switch up because I'll forget sometimes, but hopefully this will be the order in all of them. But first I'm going to start off with makeup. And the first thing is e.l.f. Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. They're only like $3 at Target. Um, I know Price Chopper has them now. If you don't have a Target closer to you, the Price Chopper has them, or at least the Price Chopper near me has it. I didn't know that before, but Price Chopper has like a lot of e.l.f. products. They don't have any other makeup products, I don't think, but they have like a whole stand of e.l.f. products, and they have more e.l.f. products than Target. That's off topic. Okay, but these are like $3, and I know other cleansing cloths are like, five six maybe even seven dollars but it's like it does the same thing and these are really like moist i know some people don't like that word but it's moist but i really like these cloths they're cheap they're good like yes the next thing is my smashbox full exposure i don't know if you guys seen this in one of my other videos before i feel like you have but i'm not for sure i'll open it up so you guys can see what's in here oh i don't want to like okay so there's that. It has shimmer and it has matte colors. It has seven shimmer and seven matte. And then it comes with a duo sided brush. I feel like my hand is like really awkward right now. I'm trying not to like let you guys see yourself. But there's that. And it's really pretty colors. I'm not really a girl that likes to wear a lot of color on her face. Like I like neutral tones. I like matte. I don't really like a lot of shimmer. I'm wearing shimmer today. Look at my makeup. But I like... I don't know my makeup is pretty today if I do say so myself if you want a tutorial on how to do this makeup look like this video or let me know just let me know but I really like this and it, I like that it comes with the brush and it also came with um, a full exposure sample mascara the mascara is all right like I've had better mascaras but I mean it's a free mascara with this so it works but I really do like this and it comes with like a black a gray a silver a brown not really any rosy tones i mean i guess there's kind of like one borderline rosy tone with this but it's not like full-on rosy like rose gold and i mean that kind of makes me upset but i mean i can just buy like a single a single you know what i mean a single like little round thing of a rose goldy color next is my set gloss and go duo duo it's a lip staining gloss it's in the color venice beach uh target had this brand on sale and i was already eyeing this brand for a long time just because their packaging is really cute but the problem with this i mean i really do like it like i wear this basically every day um i don't really wear the gloss but i do wear the stain but the stain isn't a stain like i mean it's a pretty pinky color like it's like a natural pink color and I really do like that because I was looking for that for a long time it was on sale for like six dollars or something and it was normally like 12 or something like that I don't know but it doesn't stay on for a long time it's not like it's pigmented on my bottom lip but I try to put it on my top lip and you can't see it so I don't know if it's like I don't know I mean I like it I really do like it a lot but I wish it came off on both of my lips and not just my bottom lip yeah but I mean it's good I like it and it was on sale so I'm not gonna complain about it next is my dream it rubbed off it's just dream Lumi. dream yeah dream Lumi touch highlighting concealer um I got the color honey meal honey meal but um I really wanted the mac prep and prime but I didn't want to pay like $30 for it so um I was watching other people's tutorials and stuff and they everybody like not everybody but what is her name missy lynn i think she uses this i'm pretty sure it's her i think it's her but she uses this and i really want um sometimes it can come off ashy on my skin just because i'm brown but i mean i really want banana powder to go over it just so it gives it more of like that yellow golden tone not so much ashy but I mean, if you wet your um, blending um, blending sponge or beauty blender uh, with Fix Plus or something, it'll blend in well enough to where it won't come off ashy. But I really do like this. I use this almost every day. 
it's perfect like it's just pure fabulousness the next thing is my Anastasia dip brow pomade in the color chocolate yes like I think I've told you guys this before maybe I did not I don't know but I had the Anastasia brow Wiz and it broke like it wasn't done or anything I still had a lot of product left but and I didn't even I wasn't even harsh with it like I just rolled the thing up and it was just like boom and I was like what am I supposed to do now like I didn't have any way to that I could do my brow so I it was just a struggle but I have this now and it was only like $18 the brow was is like 20 or 21 I think but um I have this it's this consistency um but I really do like it um it will last for a long time just because a little bit with this goes a long way and if you guys want me to do an eyebrow tutorial let me know um but yeah I really do like this and they had like their colors when I went they only had like three colors so it's not that much variety I mean they may have some now that more people are buying it but it, when I got it it was just like new like that's the first day that I was in beauty brands I went to beauty brands to get it and it was like their very new product but yeah I really do like this it's creamy and it's easy to like art like it's easy to work with sometimes the brow whiz like I mean it's good for a pencil I like I don't like pencils but I like pencils for my brow it's confusing I know I'm a complicated person but I really do like this this is my favorite thing I'm rambling but I really do like this you should try this out it's the dip brow pomade okay the next thing is fashion I only have a couple of things for fashion this um this month just because I don't I can't I haven't been finding myself wearing things over and over again just because I've been working a lot so I haven't really been going out and hanging out with people that much so I could like actually dress up and actually like wear my own clothes like I've been in uniform for like the past month but the first thing is my Steve both of these things are Steve Madden I've worn these seriously almost every day like they're so comfortable they have like a gold um a gold bar going across them and it's Steve Madden um, it doesn't have a heel I mean it has like a little heel but it's not a heel um I don't know what size these are oh well but they're really cute they're really comfortable like they're just fabulous I love them and I wear these basically every day and they're, I just like them um the next thing is Steve Madden also it's my Steve Madden purse this is my purse that I had in my what's in my bag video and um it's just this bag I really like it it's a lot of it's, you can put a lot of stuff inside it's very roomy um this is just my go-to bag lately like usually I use my Michael Kors um crossover bag I don't know uh, it's in the monogram print and it's like a light brown or a, like a tan color but I find myself using this grown-up like sophisticated beautiful bag and yeah I just love this bag next is music so I'm gonna go through um some of the new songs that I've downloaded on my phone and um I'm gonna just tell you what I've liked and what I've been playing in my car and just the fabulous music I listen to one um the all about the all about that bass by Megan Trainer. that's my anthem like it's just life you guys need to check out that um, song. I'll try to link it down below. Um, I like Fall in Love by Fantagram. Okay, my music taste is pretty different. Like, there's a squawk, squirrel crossing... Squirrel! There's a squirrel cro crossing the street. But um, my music taste, I listen to basically everything. Like, I kid you not. Like, okay, I'm going to play some of these songs. And, like, you'll see how much my music taste, like, ranges from, like, this side of the room from, like all the way over there okay this is all about the bass and then this is fall in love by fantagram Okay, that's like, do you see how that ranges? I like Chandelier by Sia or Saya. I think it's Sia. 
oh my gosh like when I'm on the highway I built my lungs out to that song like I kid you not like people look at me weird I was in Burger King with my dad or I was outside like I was in the car eating and in Chandelier there's a part where she goes like really high pitch I did that and this guy looked at me like I was crazy I mean I thought I hit that note pretty well but apparently not but I really like Chandelier by Sia um First Love by Jennifer Lopez yes and mm, animals by martin garrix yes like that's gonna be my party anthem song this year like that's going getting ready and everything just getting ready to go like go out with my friends yes um i really like um like i call it hawaiian reggae like, okay, I'll give you an example. Like, look up J-Bug or Fiji. Like, those kind of artists. I, that, like, I would say that that's my favorite music. Because, like, I'll branch away, branch away from it sometimes. But I always find my way back to it. If you want to, like, talk about music with me. Like, I'm the person to talk to. Like, I love music. It's my life. Um, I don't really have any rap songs on here. Rude by Magic. Yes yes um i like wild by jesse J. I have a lot of um, music favorites this month it's normally not that many normally i don't download that many songs um just a fool by blake shelton or by christina aguilera featuring blake shelton yes um i think that's it um i'm pretty sure that's it wait nope wait Primetime featuring, or Primetime by Janelle Monet featuring Miguel. Yeah, Love Runs Out by One Republic. Yes. And pretty sure that's it now. That's it. That's it. I'll put some more. I'm trying to like, because I just downloaded some and I really like them. I'm trying to save them till August favorites just because I just downloaded them so it wouldn't be like a whole month's favorite because I just downloaded them like three days ago. But yeah. Yep, that's it for music. Okay, I forgot one thing for um, my makeup slash beauty products, and then I'm going to go into hair. Okay, I'm going to talk, well, okay, I'll go back into hair. The Aromatherapy Stress Relief Eucalyptus Tea Body Lotion. I got this for the, um, or from the semi-annual sale at Bath and Body Works, and I love it. Like, it kind of smells like a man, but I'm okay with that. I'm like burping all over the place and I'm trying to hold it in because I'm recording. I'm a lady. But I really like this. When I go to work and I have this on and some people were like, two people said I smelled really good and then somebody else came up behind them and was like, you smell like a man. And I was like, okay. Like, I'm sorry I smell like a man to you. But I like this. And I think, I don't think it smells like a man because it's like Bath and Body Works. It's like, it wasn't in the man section in Bath and Water Body Works. So I don't smell like a man because it wasn't in the man section but it's eucalyptus tea it doesn't i don't think it has a description of what it's supposed to smell like it says this ultra creamy nourishing body lotion is formulated to give skin long-lasting moisture while an aromatherapy blend of an blend of essentials oils helps calm feelings of stress and uncertainty i mean i don't know if it does all that but it smells good and then for the hair okay so with hair, I promise myself I can't buy any more hair products until I use up all the ones that I have or most of the ones that I have. Like I can't, okay, if I have a curly curl cream that I haven't used up, I can't buy another one until I use this one up. Because otherwise I'll just have like socks and socks of hair products. I'm a hair fanatic. I'm a, I'm turning into like a fashion person, but I really like makeup. So I can't, all, I can't buy any more mascara until I use up like three things of the mascara that I have now which is a lot because I have a lot of mascara but I'm putting myself on like not punishment I'm putting myself on I'm not good with words you will soon learn that okay but I'll start off with the cream of nature with argan oil from Morocco perfect edges yes like us naturals sometimes have a hard time holding our edges down when they need to be held down 
this will do it i know olive oil has one i don't know who else has one but i really like this one i got it from my beauty supply store um i think they have it at walmart i'm pretty sure they have it at walmart but i've seriously used up all of this so it's time to buy a new one but i really do like this i use it with um I have a toothbrush de designated just for my hair. I don't use it with my mouth or anything. Like it's just, I bought a toothbrush just for my hair, just to lay them edges down. But this is perfect. I have um, a Talia Wahid Curly Curl Cream. This defines my curls like no other. Like right now my hair is in like afro mode just because yesterday was supposed to be wash day, but I worked like 14 hours yesterday. So I didn't have time. I'm going to wash my hair today. But, um, oh, if there's any non-black people um, watching this video, I know there's, like, different wash routines for different races. Black people don't wash their hair every day or every three days or something. At least, like, I mean, they can't wash it every three days, but it'll get really dry. We wash our hair once a week or once every other week if you have weave-in. I know some people that have weave-in and they wash it once every other week. I wash my hair once every week. And then at the end of the month, and then since I'm natural now, we're just going to talk about this. Since I'm natural now, I don't wash my, I don't use shampoo. I use cleansing conditioner. And then on the very last Sunday of the month, I guess I'm telling you guys like my curly hair wash regimen. Okay. But I use shampoo at the very end Sunday of the month. Because if I use it every week, it'll just dry out my hair. It'll take all the natural oils out. Like it's just no. Conditioner cleanses your hair, especially when it's called cleansing conditioner or co-wash. I have a coconut co-wash by As I Am. I like their products. Um, I have a cleansing conditioner from Tresemme, I think. But um, back to this. Oh, if you guys want to see a curly hair routine or curly washing regimen or something, like this video and let me know. I can do that too. But... This is a curly curl cream. It defines my curls like when it's you can use it on dry hair, you can use it on wet hair. Um, I would say pair this up with Eco Styler gel just so it stays in that state. But I love it. Next, I have my Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. This came with um, I got it in a pack with the No Poo, the um, the One Condition the no frizz and then like a towel of theirs but this is my favorite um just because i don't like my hair feeling crunchy some gels like eco styler has i guess different levels of hold that they have i didn't know that now i do but like some of one of the gels that i have makes my hair crunchy and i hate it but this like it defines your curls and makes it hold but it does not make your hair crunchy so this is great it's diva curl um was in a couple YouTubers videos and uh, I just love their products like I want to buy more of them the only problem is it's like for a big bottle that I need it's like 30 to 40 dollars I don't have money for that so I'm buying these little 10 dollar bottles and they go really quickly but I mean I try not to use the diva curl because I have a lot of hair products so I try not to use diva curl every week just so I won't like finish the whole bottle in like a month but this is um, the light defining gel. It says it's 100% sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. It doesn't say that. Does gels have mineral oil in it? I don't know. If you think, if you know, um, gels have mineral oil in it, let me know because this does not say that it's mineral oil free. So I don't know if it has mineral oil in it. But I really like this. So yeah, that's the end of my um, hair favorites for this month or for last month. That's the end of my July favorites video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any um, products you think I should try out or anything, let me know in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching, guys. Follow me on Instagram and everything, too. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm trying to take more pictures and stuff and post more. But, yeah. Bye, guys.